Fine ID. That's clear. Weapons to keep the weapons will be locked until the Incredible. Simply incredible. For the first time in history, a human being has defeated a BT. Were you not a repatriate, I doubt it would have been possible. Not only does contact with your fluids pose no risk of trigger and avoid out, but in much the same way as your car is rejected by the beach, your blood can be used to expel BTs from our world and return them to the other side. You've given us hope, Sam. Gonna catch a ride on that boat, Sam? Before it'd be my advice. Or it's your call. I don't know how you sleep. Need a pick me up? <sighs> Welcome to Lake Knot City. What? Nothing. Let's go. Cargoes from Port Nut City, bound for Lake Knot. I'll leave these up to you. The dispatch terminal is up ahead. In the meantime, I've got some business to attend to. Later, alligator.
I hate to be a hard ass, but I've got to ask. Everything you're transporting aboard? Nothing dangerous or illicit. I'm sure they checked you on the way in, but I'm gonna have to take a second look. All clear. Not picking up anything unusual. Cargo looks great too. Been a while since we got some of this stuff. Sorry for the hassle. Can't be too careful these days. Oh, we heard you were carrying a Cupid. That right? You're clear to link us up. So we're finally on the network. Long time coming. We won't hold anything back. Capital Not Studio will get everything. If all this info sharing makes everyone safer, I'm all for it. You can bet I'm not the only one here who feels that way. I suppose it was better when Bridges One first came this way. At least I don't remember terrorists and BTs making our lives difficult back then. Well, be careful out there. The world's not what it used to be. And thank you. Finally made it past Ground Zero, Sam. Congratulations. And thank you. It'll only get harder from here, though. When we first came through, it was different. Peaceful. The three cities out there, Lake, Middle, and South Knot, were all on board with our plans for reconstruction. Fragile Express was contracted by all three and kept supplies moving and people connected. But that all changed a year ago, when the Separatists carried out their attacks. One took out Middle Knot City. They detonated nukes from the old days. Half of South Knot City went up in the other. Casualties were devastating. Bridges doesn't have the resources to link up the remaining cities on its own. We need to secure the support of everyone, even those who want nothing to do with the UCA. Impossible as that may seem. The situation has changed dramatically since Bridges 1 first went west. The destruction of Middle Nod in particular forced us to adapt a new strategy. It's like Amelie said. We don't have the time or resources to construct another knot on that scale. That's why we've taken to cutting deals with preppers and the like. Our only recourse is to utilize their shelters to bolster the strength of the network. It takes a special kind of person to live out here on their own. The kind that'll tell us to fuck off if we ask them to join the UCA. Oh, we know. No one's expecting them to say yes up front. But even if they don't like dealing with most people, they got on okay with Fragile Express. Don't tell me. You want us to use her credentials to get in good with them? Bingo. She's agreed to it, too. And in exchange, she gets... Nothing, really. A chance to get back at Higgs, I suppose? I can't blame her for warning one. He took everything from her and then some. Time healed some wounds, but... not hers. The work ahead won't be simple or easy, but... it needs doing. Get some rest for now. We'll talk more later. Something to eat? 
Why are you here? Ask your boss man. No. I mean, why are you here? Got a delivery for a porter. You're gonna need this on the road ahead. This will ID you as an associate of Fragile Express. It's woven from my blood and chiral crystals. Think of it as a kind of bond. Preppers around these parts won't give you trouble so long as you've got it. We were the only people making deliveries out here. This was our territory. Until Higgs fucked it all up. Me? The Express? Our reputation? All of it. And now you want to fuck them back? On your own? I'm not on my own. The cave? Port Knot City? Next to your bed? So far apart, yet somehow we keep meeting? All that BT country in between where I should have been caught in a void out. Yet here I am. Here I am. You can use the beach? I have a beach. You've got yours. I've got mine. I use it to jump across space. I can't conjure up BTs the way Higgs can, but I can go after him, chase him to the beach. Problem is, everyone's got their own way in. I'm only allowed to pass through the beach I know and understand. I'm sure you've heard the term multiverse. You all right? The jumps take a lot out of me. Suck my blood dry. You're going to Edgenot City, right? Place is full of terrorists. But if you're dead set on it, then you're gonna have to deal with Heek sooner or later. Look, I make deliveries, killing monsters and terrorists. It's not what I do. What if we did it together? I could use my power to help you. We don't have to want the same thing to be on the same side. I could send you across my beach. To any place the Kyrelians thick enough. Any place connected to the Chiral network. And what do you expect in return? I expect you to think it over. Here. Call it an incentive. And call me if you need me. This will keep us connected. See you when I see you. Sam, access the Lake Knot City Delivery Terminal.
Sam, to review. Your present objective is to extend the Cairo network from Lake Knot City to South Knot City. To that end, you'll need to utilize prepper shelters as way stations. Frankly, it won't be easy. Fragile's tried to get some of them on board, but you know how preppers are. More than a few won't want anything to do with the UCA. So we've got to prove to them they're better off with us. Figure out what they need and what we can provide, and then deliver. Do that, and they just might agree to join us. All right, get to it. The list of orders is on the terminal. This is a somewhat unusual order. You're going to want to review the key points in the summary. An empty container tagged with a fake ID, AKA decoy cargo. Could be useful for fooling folks who can't get enough of other people's deliveries. Restrictions lifted. 